Hey there! Today we'll be taking a look at the different ways Sloyd lets you create 3D models and which workflow you should be using depending on your goals. To get started, I think the most important thing to understand is that Sloyd offers two main 3D creation technologies. Parametric, which creates 3D model variations based on pre-made 3D model generators, and 3D Gen AI, which uses generative artificial intelligence to create 3D models from user prompts. Let's start with our parametric workflow. Our parametric 3D generation lets you select a model generator from our quite extensive library and then proceed with choosing the different parts and sizes that make said model. You do this by using these sliders and toggles. This allows you to precisely modify your model until it fits your vision and needs. You even get control over the LOD with this slider at the bottom left. This lets you create multiple LOD versions of a model for extra performance. Once the shape is right, you move on to the materials. You get to choose from a vast array of different materials, each being easily tweaked and further customized. And there you go. Your model is now ready to be used. However, this was still quite a lot of manual work. To make this more convenient and easier to use, we have trained an AI on all our model generators, which lets you control our parametric settings using prompts instead. So now, instead of having to manually search and piece together your model, you can simply ask the AI to do it for you. You can generate a model, further edit the generated model, and even tweak the materials using only prompts. This significantly accelerates your workflow and reduces the overall learning curve. Ideally, you would find a middle ground where you create a quick prototype using prompts and then manually fine tune it for extra precision and control. Last thing I want to show you with our parametric workflow is the randomize button. This is honestly one of my favorite features because I often don't exactly know what I want. This helps me see multiple variations of a model to hopefully give me a better picture over my overall options. So as you saw, parametric modeling is precise and highly optimized for graphical rendering, such as for games or video renders. But it also allows you to create models that can have explorable interiors or even movable parts. That said, there is a big limitation here. You're limited to the available generators. If you want to create a Viking character for a Roblox game or a vase with horns, you'd be unable to do it using parametric generation simply because these model variations are not in our library. And this is exactly where 3D Gen AI comes to play. 3D Gen AI lets you generate anything in any style using one of our two methods. The first method is to take an image as an input and turn that image into a 3D model. Make sure that when you do that, the image you're choosing has the object you want to create on a clear background, like this vase with horns inspired by Loki from Marvel. I even 3D printed this one, by the way. Using an image like this as a starting point gives you better control over the results. But what if you don't have an image? Well, this is where our second method comes in, text to 3D. Let's make a Viking character for a Roblox game. First off, I choose one of the presets to help direct the AI in the right direction. Here I'm choosing the Roblox preset. Then I prompt it with the Viking character with short hair, short beard, no weapon, no helmet, and very importantly, in a T-pose. And yeah, it, it doesn't get easier than that, but you do lose a lot of control on the result since the AI only has your text prompt to go off. Whereas with the image, it has a lot more context on what you actually want. So make sure to be clear and detailed with your description to get consistent results. As you see, 3D Gen AI has no limits when it comes to creative possibilities. So to quickly recap, use parametric generation for precise, optimized models and use 3D Gen AI for organic, highly detailed decorative objects or characters like animals, monsters, etc. Hope this helps and happy creating!